Africa, the second largest continent on earth, is considered blessed by the hand of God. The motherland, as it is often called, due to the belief that it was the birthplace of humanity, is teeming with wildlife. A strong life energy exists in its emerald green jungles, which are the sanctuaries of exotic flora and fauna. Its majestic mountains hold Earth's hidden treasures of gold, platinum and diamonds. The Nile winds and twists its way for over 4,000 miles northward from eastern Africa to Egypt, providing life source for countless creatures of God living under the limitless African sky. Many great and gifted beings have emerged from the African ancestry including Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King Jr., actor Bill Cosby and supermodel Iman, who exemplify the grace and talents of the African people. God continues to bless Africa through a living master, whose mission of sharing the love from the Most High with humankind brought her to this land. In 1995, Supreme Master Ching Hai came to Côte d'Ivoire, the Ivory Coast, in West Africa. The First Lady of the Ivory Coast, Mrs. Henriette Bedier, invited Supreme Master Ching Hai to the Presidential Palace as an honored guest. Upon learning of the condition of the local hospitals, Supreme Master Ching Hai immediately made a contribution to purchase necessities, equipment and medicine. She then was accompanied by the Prince of the Ivory Coast to the orphanages in the city of Abidjan. Supreme Master Ching Hai then continued on her journey to the Kingdom of Benin, once one of the most advanced of African civilizations. The royal family had arranged for a grand reception at the airport to greet their national guest. King Aguli Agbo and his queen welcomed Supreme Master Ching Hai to their palace and expressed their honor at receiving her in their country. During her stay in Benin, Supreme Master Ching Hai also visited hospitals, poor villages and several orphanages run by convent nuns. Supreme Master Ching Hai showered the children with her love and gifts. She also made a contribution to the orphanage of Saint Enfant Jesus in order for them to add more facilities. Before her departure from this country, the First Lady of Benin, Mrs. Nisephora Soglo, invited Supreme Master Ching Hai to her official residence, where a friendly meeting took place between them. In November and December 1999, Supreme Master Ching Hai traveled to the great continent of Africa again during her Middle East and Africa tour titled, Heaven is Only the Beginning. She was invited to lecture in three of South Africa's largest cities, Johannesburg, Durban and Cape Town. Truth seekers in these cities yearned for the nectar of God to satisfy their inner longing. As Africa has gained the world's attention as a land of many cultures and beliefs, Cape Town, South Africa was chosen as the ideal location to host the Parliament of the World's Religions on December 1st through to the 8th. 1999. Supreme Master Ching Hai was among the world's spiritual and religious leaders who were invited to speak at the Parliament's opening ceremony and made a special prayer as well. Afterwards a group of Zulu children dancers had the honor of meeting Supreme Master Ching Hai. Touched by their pure hearts and sincerity, Supreme Master Ching Hai made a generous contribution for them. During the course of her visit, Supreme Master Ching Hai not only shared the noble teachings of the truth with the people of South Africa, but also made philanthropic contributions to the poor and less fortunate amounting to about 100,000 US dollars. Many members of the media also requested to interview Supreme Master Ching Hai. Although her time was limited, she granted several interviews to some of the major newspapers, radio and television stations. Everywhere she went, the African people warmly welcomed Supreme Master Ching Hai as an honored guest in their land, as she brought a message of peace and love to their people. We invite you to listen to Supreme Master Ching Hai's lecture titled, The Invisible Passageway delivered on November the 26th, 1999 in Durban, South Africa.
I welcome you to this evening's lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai. Manene na manene ga zisi an bingele la gulo psuba na musa gulo kulumoye chinoma isfundo siga wonke siga master uching hai. Master Ching Hai is a spiritual leader whose teachings are very simple and practical. U Supreme Master her message is one of unconditional love and compassion for all sentient beings. She teaches the Kuan Yin method, which is the ancient science of enlightenment and the divine art of self-realization. This method involves meditation on the inner celestial light and sound. Ladies and gentlemen, you may ask, what impact has this philosophy had on us in South Africa? What is the answer? I believe the greater part of the answer is in enlightenment. May the wisdom and teachings of the Supreme Master Ching Hai illuminate our Gentlemen, Welcome, Supreme Master Ching Hai.